Hello student, today we'll see ADC on zero. This ADC on zero is control register for ADC. Its configuration is given in, it's already given in SFR. We know SFRs are 8 bit. So ADC on zero is also 8 bit. The MSB, this two last bit of MSB is association with ADC on one. So three bits from these two bits and third bit from ADC, ADC on one, ADCS two and these two bits decide the conversion clock select bit. If it is 0, 0, then uh, F oscillator divided by 2, then 0, 0, 1. But keep in mind this 2 from ADC on 0 and this third beat is from AD con 1. Later on, we'll see AD con 1. So this 3 beats, 1 from AD con 1 and 2 from AD con 0 will decide the clock frequency or conversion time. Then I say in peak 18 we are having 8 channels. 8 channels means we interface 8 analog signals or sensor. So this as I say these signals in our process uh, ADC uh, selection process I will explain that uh, what are the steps are included first step was select channel or select input so here these three bits is used as a channel selection if it is 0 0 then it will choose channel 0 that is from AN 0 if it is 0, 0, 001, it choose channel 1, that is AN1. Port A and port E is assigned for an ADC analog inputs. Then go done. If it is 1, then A to D conversion is in process. This is used as a start conversion. In our block diagram, we have already seen ADC having start conversion is basic things. So we have to keep observe the start conversion, which means after conversion is complete, it will go low to indicate the end of the conversion. So first of all, we have to set this bit again. This is bit addressable. So any one bit we can set, set high or set uh, or clear so if I set one that means the conversion is in process so we have to keep observing in the registers and if it is conversion is complete then make it zero if it is zero then at the conversion is complete and the digital data is available in register ADRESH and ADRESL these two are see we are having 10 bit output digital output how much we are having 10 bit so the 8 bit will store into the lower registers and upper 2 bits will store into the higher registers so that's why here also two register combination like in timer also we are having timer tmr xh and tmr l because we are having 16 bit data or count so we have to store into the 8, 8 bit because the SFRs are 8 bit so we have to break that data into 2 8 bit AD on is if it is 1 then convert converter module is powered up if it is 1 then A to D converters module is shut off and consume no operating current we have to keep this one is always 1 so in pin diagram we can see over here the port A is almost assigned for this port A is assigned for analog input and 
the three pins from port 3 are assigned for the analog inputs. Thank you, student.